glimmer of hope and a desperate scramble for survival. These villagers living in one remote area are finally getting aid, a week after the typhoon hit. The US military's been working with the Philippine government to coordinate relief efforts across these devastated islands. We were given access to the USS George Washington, the American Navy's flagship carrier. Staffed by more than 6,000 sailors, it's serving as a mobile airport. This is just one of 23 helicopters the US Navy's operating out of the USS George Washington. They're making dozens of trips every day, taking aid and supplies to much needed areas. More than 600,000 kilograms of food, water and medicines have been handed out in the past few days. As soon as it's loaded up, it's gone. What's left of Guyane's airport has become a hub for American aid efforts. This area was almost completely destroyed. People here aren't just in need of food and water, they're also looking for a way out. US planes have been flying people to bigger cities, but it's a long and tiring wait. This idyllic landscape lies bruised, broken and battered. The US military says it's here to help for as long as it's needed. But this is just the beginning of a relief operation that has no clear end in sight. Virginia Vardianarvan, BBC News in the Philippines.